Hello and welcome everybody. In today's instruction, we want to do an approximately 10 story building project as phase two on Revit from the beginning and see how we should make an architectural project. Please note that this tutorial is for those who are familiar with Revit and that we are only going to talk about the architecture part and not the structure part or other parts. For example, in here for columns, we do not put the structural ones, but we put the joinery around it. That means we put everything related to architecture so it can be used later on. If you ever wanted to use the structure, you can link this file and do the columns. Or you may have done the columns in the structure. Now you can link the structure and do the architecture. You can use the structural pack as well, but the goal here is the architecture. Okay, so first I open Revit, new click, you already know this, we select templates and click OK. In here, we can see a list of plans that we can easily find. And again, if you look at here, we have a, uh, a joinery table based on which we can proceed with our work. All right, because I need these elements, first I make a keynote for myself that contains these um, information. Uh, if you have a keynote already, you do not need to make a new one. Use the one you've had in previous projects. Now let's assume that you've never worked with any keynotes and you just now want to get familiar with them. Here we have floor, wall, ceiling, ground floor, basement, and so on. Okay, first I open the floor segment in the path where I save the file. The file folder, now open a notepad. And this path, uh, control C, now save, um, okay, choose the UTF 16LE option and then name it Arch Keynote dot TXT and save. Okay, now based on this CAD file, uh, Okay, let me just minimize this rivet real quick. Okay, you can go there like this. So, first I'll make this keynote so that I don't run into any problem later. For example, for floors, I can write floors right here, then control C, enter. F001, then I press tab. Here it says beiges and marble. Okay, let me just write it here. Okay, marble. Then it says red for color and dimensions 40 by 40. And you can add these different items. For example, again, uh, the color red and dimensions 40 by uh, 40. Okay. Now press tab again and write floors. Uh, actually, let me remind you that uh, how to make keynotes has been explained in the tutorial, in the Revit tutorial, and you can check them if you want. Now, for the next one, we write F002. We press tab again, write laminate or processed wood and as for dimensions we put 
and cm. Continue this process for all the floors, then change your category, for example, walls. Control C. Let's do just one as a sample, then explain the rest. For the walls, um, we put W, double O, one, then press tab, plaster, and soil coating. Here, I actually separate plaster and soil from a finishing plaster. Again, tap, then enter. Now, we put W, double O, two, tab again. Now, finishing plaster. And you can add plain or off-white oil paint for color and you can go on like this okay i'm gonna save this one and complete the list then we can move on with the rest of our explanation